The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause my friends are your friends, and your friends are my friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. The more we eat healthy, eat healthy, eat healthy, the more we eat healthy, the happier we'll be. Cause good food is good for you, toxins are bad for you. More we eat healthy, the happier we'll be. The more we drink good water, good water, good water, the more we drink good water, the happier we'll be. Cause there's fluoride and chlorine and bacteria and pharmaceutical products in the water, so don't drink it and the happier you'll be. The more we meditate and think good thoughts and good feelings, the more we meditate, the happier we'll be. Cause bad thoughts are trying to get in and good thoughts you can produce. The more we meditate, the happier we'll be. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Jason Page here. Walking on the streets of New York City where people are getting together. They're getting together for all kinds of things. And uh, their happiness depends on it. Ah, we got a little band going on right here, getting together. Outside, it's allowed for me to, 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 to do this without regulations, without uh, testing. Here's a big testing center right there. A lot of people not feeling good getting tested right there. They're getting together. I am... Uh, imploring you all to immunize your thoughts to get yourself feeling better by thinking your way into feeling better now what I mean by this I just mean if you wake up in the morning thinking paranoid fearful thoughts that have been injected into you by the outside world uh, you are going to be vulnerable to whatever those messaging whatever that messaging is Regardless of what side of any issue you're on, you attach yourself to that side. And that attachment, or too much attachment to that, to that particular perspective, is potentially harmful. It doesn't allow you to incorporate new information, change, grow, and evolve out of that particular attachment. I think we're all having a very extreme case of that right now. And uh, if we can get together and incorporate each other's ideas, then we can sort of loosen up the stranglehold of whatever narrative we have that has locked our brains in, 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 its, in its step. And I know we need to make decisions, but the real decisions have to be made when you confront somebody and they have a different perspective than you. And then you need to communicate ideas together and then be able to sort of loosen, loosen your thoughts up and, and grow from that experience. Um, the more we think we're there, the less we are actually there. So get together with people of like mind and of opposite minds, of different minds, and experience uh, you know, a little bit of a, a stretching of your perspective and your narrative. I'm trying to do this, and New York City is a, is a place where there's lots of people with lots of different opinions and lots of different perspectives, the melting pot of the world. And it, and it can enable us to share our varied and vast individual unique perspective with each other and make each other better. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause my friends have different ideas and your friends have different ideas. And the more we get together, the happier we'll be.